हेलो चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट मैथ सेशन सो चिल्ड्रेन वी हैव कंप्लीटेड चैप्टर नंबर थ्री दैट वॉज सब्ट्रैक्शन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर फोर शेप्स एंड सिमेट्री नाउ इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ शेप्स and how symmetry is done okay so first we will see what are the shapes okay now see children around us every day we are seeing different types of shapes okay in kitchen in your uh, house in a dining hall in your study room in your bedroom many type different type of shapes are available shapes are available means children the things which are having different types of shapes okay so today we are going to start with the shapes and symmetry in which we are going to see the different types of shapes and what are their properties okay so let's begin first here so first we will start with shapes okay shapes are of two types okay plain and solid so how many types of shapes are there children two types first is plain and another is solid now what is the difference between plain and solid shape okay so first we will see their characteristic of plain shape as well as solid shape along with the example okay so plain plain shape okay they are two dimensional that means from two sides you can see that is two dimensional hmm. it has length and breadth okay so when we are talking about the plane shape it is having length and breadth that means length and breadth okay length and breadth so this is the length and breadth it has one face now what is one face children face means the surface of a solid shape or the surface of a any shape okay so the surface of any shape is called its face see now here if i am talking about this circle the face of the, this is the surface of a circle that means this is the face of the circle see here triangle this is the surface of triangle so this will be called as face of triangle okay in this square this is the surface of square so this is called as the face of the square and in rectangle this is the surface of rectangle that means this is called as the face of rectangle so this face is nothing but the surface of any shape okay so it has one face so see here it it is having only one one face that means this is the face okay and example see circle triangle square rectangle okay these are the examples of plane shape for now see children plane shape simply on a paper when you draw any shape for example circle if you are drawing or uh, square you, you are drawing you will be able to see the face of the, the uh, of that particular shape okay and that shape will be the two dimensional shape okay and it will be having only one face 
now when we are coming towards the solid shape now what are the solid shape children here see solid shape they are three dimensional okay they are three dimensional that means from three parts three sides you can see it has length breadth and height okay so it is having length breadth and height okay it has more than one face now see here this is one face this is another face here i am also seeing the another face then down also we are we will have another face so they are having more than one face all the shapes okay all the solid shapes they are having more than one face and example it is cube cone sphere cuboid cylinder these are the examples of solid shapes okay children so this is the difference between plane and solid shapes then first we will start with plane shape okay now in plane shape children first is square now what is the property of squares children it has four side and four corners can you see four sides and this is the corner 1 2 3 and 4 four corner all the sides are equal so in square children all these sides are equal okay then triangle now in triangle it has three sides see one two and three sides and three corner one two and three three corner okay then rectangle it has four sides and four corner and that means four sides these are the four sides and four corner okay it has length and breadth so children this is the length and this is the breadth of rectangle opposite sides are equal now children here in square all the sides were equal here in rectangle opposite sides are equal so that means opposite means if this is this will be equal to this and this will be equal to this side so opposite sides are always equal and in circle children circle or oval it has no side no corner you cannot see any sides over here neither you can see the corner okay so we don't have any sides or corners it has curved line so it is having simply the curved line okay so today we have studied about the plane shape now the solid shape we are going to study in next video till then you study revise this plane shape remember the features of each and every plane shape okay till then goodbye see you children